right now the the numbers of jobs are, are thousands of jobs. There's, there's Michaels, there's Precision Pipeline um, that we've affected that the pipeline was going to be constructed. Um, the actions that were happened recently, we were doing station work. There's hundreds of guys that got laid off. And especially during a pandemic, you can obviously feel his pain. Our next guest had his own run in with Biden. He joins us now, uh, Detroit auto worker Jerry Wayne. Jerry, uh, thanks so much for coming back on the show. Um, I want to, before you and I get to chatting about what's happening here with, with Keystone and union jobs, I want to remind everyone uh, what your run in was like with President Biden. Here's that. <laughs> I did not say that. That's it, not true. I did not say that. It's a viral video. Well, it's a viral video like the other ones are putting out that are saying they're lying. Your whole voice, you look like that. You're taking a guy. Oh, he just cleared it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah. Yeah. Take your AR, your AR-14s and... Which is not uh, the gun you're talking about. But nevertheless, that was your run-in with Jerry. You may remember when that went viral uh, then on the campaign trail. Uh, and one of the things that I, I, I remember you tweeting out is saying that I looked, I believe you said, I looked this man in the eye. There is nothing that he want. He does not want to unite us. I'm paraphrasing. But what did you mean by that? Yeah, so I looked this man in his eyes, and there's a lot of ethnicness behind there, not to mention that I had an articulate question that I had asked him, and he wanted to be very argumentative. If this man wanted to unite, he'd be able to see that opportunity to actually have, have a conversation with a peer and actually come to an agreement or at least a, a simple understanding that two gentlemen can actually come across. This man is actually trying to take away our constitutional rights, and he's obviously taking away our right to actually provide for our families right now. Right. Everything's been running very smoothly uh, as far as e economically speaking when it comes to the oil reserve. And what, what they're doing now is manipulating the system for a, a good Green New Deal. And by doing that is that you're manipulating the people that are actually trying to actually stand up and innovate. Just look at Nancy Pelosi. She just bought a whole bunch of uh, options for a stock called Tesla, uh, which is the leading innovator with electrical vehicles. So I don't see how you're going to do two things at the same time. You're going to go ahead and get rid of the union workers and then go ahead and buy into these other companies that are actually going to put take the oil industry out of business. So it seems like there's some underlying issues there. Well, you do see President Biden, notably on the campaign trail. I mean, he's been in office for almost 50 years now, so he's very familiar with campaigning, knowing where to visit, obviously uh, visiting your shop back then and visiting those union workers. Uh, but at the same time now, you've seen uh, several folks of hundreds, even thousands now, lost jobs because of what happened in putting the stop to the construction of the Keystone Pipeline. I'm curious in your experience and maybe anyone you've talked to now, how do union workers, in your best opinion, uh, feel? about President Biden and what he's already done just in his first week in office? Well, before the election, the union was really going towards the Trump side as it was. I say at least 80 percent of the union demographic was doing that. And now that this had happened to the pipelines on day one, that is striking the union. And if you hit one union, you're going to hit the rest of them. They already lost the police force. Now they're using the pipelines. And I, I'm telling you, no rights, iron workers, electricians, the pipe fitters are right behind them. So if they want to keep pushing this narrative to get, get rid of union jobs, they're going to have a backlash, a backlash that they've never seen from the union party because the representatives of, of part of our unions are not truly representing us. The men are fed up with it. And, they, and I have a message to all the men and women out there that are union, represent, are union workers. Speak to your representatives. Bark up the tree and demand that they actually represent you because what they're doing right now is absolutely damaging us. We're, so we're witnessing a disruptive innovation turnaround amongst the, the uh, amongst the Americas, uh, mind you. And if we do not get on top of this innovation, we are in big, big trouble. And these politicians are not looking out for us. So we need to actually do our own due diligence and stand on our own two feet, just like we've done for many years, and actually fight back right now. Really quickly, before I let you go, I just want to ask you this, because it was it was mentioned when, when the talk of, of uh, stopping the Keystone Pipeline um, from, from being constructed, what do these folks, what do these union workers do for a job now? Because you're essentially ending it just like that. Uh, and it was more or less said, you know, they'll, they'll be able to find another job. Uh, how hard is it for a union worker to, to find a new job, especially now during a pandemic? Well, it depends on the skilled trade. And these pipe, the, the, a lot of these guys are pipe fitters, and they're, they're very good at welding and uh, obviously making pipe. So what they do is they get a contract and a job, and usually they work on that job, get laid off, and go to another one. But this was a very massive job, and thousands upon thousands of people were relying on it. So it's going to take some time to find another job because these pipelines don't just pop up out of nowhere. So these people are going to be out of work for a while.
And um, I, I, I wish them the best, but we need to stand together, unite, and fight against this. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.